we're uh, doing further clarification videos um, and I hope that the last videos that we provided for everybody uh, has uh, given them a little bit of uh, hope. Uh, we know that uh, we know that there has been uh, a few people uh, that have uh, been shooting some flaming arrows, so to speak, um, at, I believe, the information that I've provided over um, probably the last several years. Uh, uh, those that have uh, done the filmings uh, behind the scenes uh, know that some of these videos go back many years and there's, there's 90 or more hours that have never been put up on YouTube. Uh, many of things that I would have uh, uh, probably... Uh, been quite, uh, I think, taken back on that they were so accurate right at the beginning because they were based on my my gut feeling of what things really were, uh, not based on the fact that I had really had done research. It's what I had felt based on an idea of uh, what the Bible stood for. And so, uh, again, I'm just saying that I hope that these videos uh, that are provided for free, and we know there's been good brothers that have uh, helped me out over the years, um, many things just in pure charity, food, shelter, clothing, while I was down a research journey, which some now have attacked and said that I've, uh, you know, used people, um, to stay alive. But I believe that if you are following the word of God and you're trying to do your best at that, that, uh, you are worthy of the meat that you're being provided at that time. Uh, I think what happens, there's frustrated people that we know that are out there that are following movements such as free men on the land. Uh, these sovereignty groups that actually are promoting the idea that they actually really are almost like their own God, almost the pinnacle of what almost democracy teaches, uh, which is an impossibility in reality to ever have work out uh, in a logical manner so that you will have a peaceful society. Uh, those, those theories just don't work. And we know that only God is supreme. And certainly if he's allowing the higher powers to be there for the time being to keep things in control, uh, people have to respect the fact uh, that uh, um, they must, by, by, uh, by God, respect these authorities and find their way through this to remain peaceful at all cost. And sometimes you will be eating humble pie in order to be the peaceful man. In the meantime, um, our videos have not 100% um, been directing people to where I would want people uh, to put their full focus because many times I'm speaking to people from where they're at and I talk to people who have no understanding of the Bible, may not claim Christianity, uh, may just be in a legal dilemma at the moment and that's generally where I've met most people through uh, kindly doing research for them on a legal level, giving them a observation I found and then letting them make their decision on what they would do. Uh, certainly not crossing the line into the world of the lawyers where they're uh, basically uh, guaranteeing uh, a legal direction and then telling them to do it inside a courtroom uh, based on a fee that they've charged. Uh, it always has to be based on the fact of what people are going to do themselves and they have to take responsibility. Uh, my direction right now is definitely trying to tell people there is hope and there is a solution. Uh, it's, been, it's in this book. It's the lightest book you'll ever have to carry because it's God's word and God's word is not a burden. So therefore, uh, the availability of this book is worldwide in many languages and it brings the hope that was always placed there that God will have his government and his kingdom right all the wrongs. Without that hope, man is on a disaster journey. And so the majority of the world do not believe in him, do not believe in the ransom sacrifice of his son, do not believe um, that they must make a change in their life and must separate themselves from the world of mankind as it is in order to be not part of the coming disaster that has been promised by God through prophecy to execute evil and remove it once and for all time from this planet. The kingdom of God is coming, whether people want to believe it or not, and you will never be able to disprove this book, no matter how much you will try. Take the time, do your research, and be careful of who you're using as your basis for this research into this book. Because generally there is so much now on the World Wide Web that can mislead you to tell you this book is not accurate and true. 
This book is everywhere and to be found and more than not given away for free if you're really looking for it if you didn't even have a dollar to actually expend to get one. It'll be our aim at this point that if people do need Bibles that our direction will be to provide them free of charge. Even if I have to provide from a world that has a secular account to go and give it to the people who do not have. Because that is the necessary thing of those preaching the word of God. We want people to understand too that if you are seeking exemption through these videos and you are not seeking the kingdom of God and you are not preaching the gospel message and you are not out there focusing your life on that part of the journey, why would God exempt you? from having to participate in that other side that has to do with strictly secular activity. I hope that the following videos will clarify some of the points that we've found that people have not had a good understanding of. Listen carefully in the next videos.